situation where maybe we make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere in a place is better. Start from zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we'll make something. Me myself, I got nothing to prove. G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Fast Car by Tracy Chapman, which is an all-time classic. Now this song is actually a lot simpler than it sounds, and there's no bar chords involved, so it's great for beginners. Now for the basics of this song, you will need your guitar in standard tuning, and you will need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the intro riff, which is a lot of fun to play. Now for our finger picking basics, your index and middle finger will be plucking the third and second strings respectively, and your thumb will take care of the sixth and fifth strings. So we're gonna start with a C shape. Now on our first pluck, we're actually gonna have our index finger lifted from the C. So we're gonna pinch the fifth, third, and second strings all together. But at the same time, we're going to hammer on our index finger into place, like that. And then after that, you're gonna lift your index finger and then pluck the second and third strings by themselves. And so far. And then after that, you can lift all your fingers and then pluck the open second and third strings as you transition to the next shape, which is our G. And so far. So our next shape is a G, but you only really need to push down on the third frets of the sixth and second strings. You can play the full G chord shape, but these two notes are the only ones that are really necessary. We're gonna pinch the sixth, third, and second strings together. And then two quick notes after this, which are the second and third strings. And that's the first bar, which sounds like this. For our next bar, we're gonna just keep our ring finger on the second string, slide it up to the eighth fret, relative to the capo, and our index finger will go on the seventh fret of the fifth string. We're gonna pinch the fifth, third, and second strings. And then we're gonna slide these two fingers down. So keep them on the same strings, but just slide your index to the fifth, and then your ring to the seventh fret. We're gonna pinch the same strings. And then we have two quick notes, the second and third string. So that second bar. So that's the main section of the riff, which sounds like this all together. Now the third and the fourth bar are identical to the first and second. So we're just basically repeating that riff. Now for this second line of tab, this is where we have a slight variation. So the first bar is identical. But when we go up to this E minor shape, we're gonna start with the pinch. We'll take our pinky finger, go up to the 10th fret, pluck that. Go back down to the eighth fret. So that section. And then we go down to this D shape and we'll do something similar. So start with the pinch. And then with your pinky, go up to the eighth fret of the second string. And then back down to the seventh. So this bar. and the first two bars of the third line of tab. And then the third and fourth bar are identical to the main riff that we've already learned. So that's it for the intro, which is really nice and simple, and it sounds like this all together. So that's it for the intro and next we get to the verse which is basically what we've already learnt already. So it's that main riff but with a slight variation. We're just adding one pluck here. So that one pluck happens on this E minor shape. So we're going to pinch 
And then after that, we'll pluck these second and third strings. So, and then we'll go down to the D and the rest is the same. So the main verse riff. And that gets played basically throughout the majority of the song. Now, the only other thing we need to learn is the chorus, which is really simple. There's just three lines of chords here. Now, our strumming pattern is going to be really simple. It's just down, down, up, up, down, up. And in succession, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So for our first line of chords, we have a C, and then G, and then an E minor, and then a D. So each chord is just played for one strumming pattern, which is really nice and simple. And that first line of chords is played through twice. Then for our second line of chords, we have a C to an E minor. Now the strumming pattern's the same, but we have two chords within that one strumming pattern. And the point at which we'll change the chords is on the highlighted up strum. So it'll sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go to a D for a full strumming pattern and that's played through twice. And then the third line of chords is C to D, but those two chords are contained within the one strumming pattern. And the point at which we'll change is the same as the C to E minor. So with all that in mind, the chorus just sounds like this. And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. It's a really, really simple track and great for beginners who want to start exploring finger picking riffs. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context as well. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.